Why hello and welcome to the new office setup. It's not totally done yet, but you saw us hang this little guy. Kind of digging it here actually with the little plants and stuff. We still have to like hang some shit and put some stuff over there and stuff over there. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about how to improve your storytelling flow using this trick, my favorite, J cuts and L cuts. Actually, it's not really a trick, it's more of a technique. We'll call it a technique. First, before we get into it, I severely need to caffeinate myself because it's 3.30 p.m. It's not 3.30 p.m. for you right now. It's probably another time. And I woke up at 10 a.m. and I'm dragging. I am tired as I don't know how many coffee videos I can make, but I'll tell you one thing. This got a change. Looking forward to working on this. It might not be so obvious what I just did there, but if you look closely, I've used J and L cuts to kind of help along the story. I really, like, I can't just have this sit here and not drink it. Yes! Oh my God, I love iced lattes. Uh, yeah. So this trick is kind of helpful when you're trying to tell a story and you're going from one place to another, but the stuff in between you don't really want to show. And so that's when L cuts and J cuts can kind of come in handy and speed up the edit without it feeling awkward from jumping from one place to another. Probably like, Beck, what the f are J and L cuts? So basically what a J cut is, is when you start the audio from the next scene before the B-roll from the preceding scene ends. If you have a B-roll clip and then voiceover portion of your next clip starts before you actually see that clip. So I could be showing coffee B-roll and my next clip might be me sitting in this office talking, but the talking starts before you actually see me in the office. So that is a J cut. Now an L cut is kind of the opposite of that. It's when the audio from the first clip continues over B-roll from the second clip. So if I was talking about coffee and I was gonna say, let's go make coffee, and then put the B-roll of the coffee on top of the end portion of that voiceover, then that would be an L cut. You'll probably notice now when you watch other people's videos, you're gonna pick up that they're using this technique. Okay, so we're gonna use the helicopter trip as an example. So in this particular clip, we wanted to transition from being at the airport to being at the hotel room. We didn't wanna show driving to the hotel because we knew the video was already gonna be long and we're trying to tell a succinct story. So we used a J cut here to help the story along, cut out a bunch of meat that didn't need to be there, just kind of make the transition from the airport to the hotel more seamless and makes sense. Day one over, a productive day. Now we gotta find a hotel. We covered how much? 400 and 485 nautical miles. So starting the audio from the next clip underneath the previous scene kind of helps the story along. It makes the transition from one place to another a little bit less rough. I keep talking with my hands, like I'm cutting it, like this is the cut tool, and I'm hitting this plant. Plant. You're hitting, I'm gonna just whoop. Here's another example of using a J cut. So basically we're showing B-roll of where we are and then we start the audio from the following scene during the B-roll segment, but we're still in the same location. All right, so we are in Lonesome Pine Airport. It's in Wise, Virginia. We're talking about where we are and we're showing B-roll of where we are and then that kind of cuts into Chris sitting down and talking about where we are. Think about using J and L cuts to help transition your clips from one scene to the next or from one day to another day or from one storyline to another. You can use it in a number of different ways. So again, an L cut is when audio from a scene is playing under video clips from the following scene and a J cut is the opposite of that when you start hearing audio clips from the following scene underneath the preceding clips. So freaking confusing. So hopefully seeing those examples kind of help. Using the L cut or the J cut can really help the story along. It can speed things up. You want to get your story across and tell a really good one. How many times can I sell? Bleh. How many times can I say story? Like literally a hundred. <laughs> tell the story the best way possible, but it's also timing and delivery. You don't want to drag your story out with unnecessary clips just because you want to get the point across that we move from A to B. So you can use J and L cuts to do that. You can use time lapses to show time passing, um, B roll, things like that, but you don't have to show every single thing in a story. There are easy ways to get your story across other than just showing everything. All right, so hopefully that helps you with your storytelling, with your editing. Um, just try it out, use it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you've used this technique before, if you've never heard of it before, let me know. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna finish off this latte. Good Lord, there is nothing like an iced latte on a hot day. Well, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. I got nothing to throw, nothing to do here, guys. Just gonna like, 
stand up and just shuffle out of the scene. Bye. YouTube.com. Ah! Thought there was a bug on me. I think it's just a hair. Oh god, the internet is so slow. Okay. Function trick editing thing feature. I don't know what it's called. Edit editing technique. Editing technique. They're using this editing technique.